Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Joshino and today I've just got a public service announcement for you all, especially for those that have a console, an Xbox One or PS4, and are playing Paladins on both PC and console. Now for a limited time, until July 15th, you can copy all of your progress on PC to your console, meaning all of your experience, all of your character customizations to a, a, a limit, which I'll talk about in a second, and all of your essence, and basically just means that you can take everything you've done on your PC version to the console version and not have to start all over from the beginning again. I know that a lot of PC players that have a console as well that may play with friends or people that don't have a gaming PC might like this very much because before you'd have to start over again, and a lot of people probably couldn't be bothered with that. And the link to do this is in the description below. I've also linked the FAQs which I'll talk about now which are basically the limits to what this does. Another response that I think we might get here in the YouTube and I saw a lot of people on Reddit talking about too was that people are a little bit annoyed that there's only a short period to do this and it's only about a month. Why is it such a short period? Well because Microsoft and Sony and Hyros here have to be in agreement to do this because at the end of the day, letting PC players come over is taking away money from the PS4, Sony and Microsoft or Xbox One's account and they're cut from whatever customizations and money is spent on accounts. Because basically every time a purchase is made on the PS4 or the Xbox One, the, the companies will get some profit from that. And it's almost like a ceasefire agreement for the moment to let all players come over. So that's really why there's a limited time and just to let you know. So the process of copying is basically just linking your accounts to the PS4 and then going to the next step to copy over. When you go to the link, there's basically a linking app. It isn't 100% on a few people have got an error, but I just try it out. Keep coming back to it if you do get an error. Another thing worth mentioning is if you do link your accounts, you get a pretty sweet Entroxa skin. There's a blue one for PS4 and a green one for Xbox One. Personally, I really like the PlayStation one. That's why I've linked my account with the PlayStation version. The one thing that isn't taken across is any outstanding crystals. What I mean by this, is crystals that you haven't spent that are on your account. So if you do want to get all skins across from your current account, then you'll have to buy something before you link it. It'll link just from that moment and you won't get any of the crystals. Don't worry about your PC achievements, you keep absolutely everything as everything doesn't just go over to the console, it just gets copied across. The cards, the XP and everything get copied across. However, there's no way currently to go from console to PC. That's something that they're not allowing at the moment. And it's just from PC to console, the copyings. Another thing worth mentioning is that after this point, the accounts do not sync. So once you've copied your PC account to your console account, then that is copied forever and it's at a static stage. So when you get it to console, you'll be at where you were at PC, but nothing will change whilst you play PC. So, so if you continue playing PC and you go from say a level 100 to level 105, your console account will still be level 100 with all the stuff from your level 100 account. There's also certain items that are exclusive to the PC. For example, the Valve Barrack, where they're basically the TF2 engineer, that does not copy across because it's just a, a exclusive skin on PC. Only the skins that you've bought that are on the console will carry over across. One question mark is whether the skins you buy in a patch that isn't out on console yet will carry across or what will happen there, but that isn't actually answered by high res. Maybe somebody can mention in the comment section below your experience of that and maybe later on, say later this month when the patches go forwards and consoles get OB 52. So like some of the skins like Willow Viceroy maybe and Ying Replicant, will those actually carry over if you copy account across your account? They've also said it's in every region apart from China. So sorry folks in China, but I'm guessing they play on the Tencent servers anyway. Another thing worth mentioning that isn't listed in the FAQs is, is whether or not you can link both accounts. From what it seems, you can do it with both because it says how does the copying process works. It does say the process must be done separately on each console, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So I assume you can do it on both. But what I'd say is if you have a main console, 
do it on that one first and then move on to the second console just in case you can only do it once because it is slightly unclear although that does hint at the fact that you can do both of them. I don't know how many people actually have both the Xbox One, PS4 and gaming PC so I'm not sure how many people that would affect. Either way, this is pretty cool and great for people that are playing on PC, that have been playing from beta, say, and want to move over to console just to play with some friends, or to maybe just have a change of pace. Also, those sweet and Druxa skins on the PC version that you get as well are just nice and tasty. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more of my content, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. Joshino.